What's up, everybody? Rob here, back with another episode of Punting and Pioneer. I, I think that's the name we settled on. <laughs> uh, if you watched the first episode, we do not have a name. But um, if you've watched the channel a lot, you know that we punt a lot. So Punting and Pioneer, I think it's got a, it's got a good sound. You can thank JD for that one. We're going with it. So, once again, we are throwing down with some Stompy. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, it's very similar to my modern Stompy deck. Uh, basically, you got your aspect of Hydras, you've got your blossoming defenses, your experimental, or not experimental frenzies, <laughs> experiment ones, Pelt Collector, some Dried Millet in action. You got one Scooze for fun, some Avatar of the Resolutes, some Bark High Trolls, Steel Leaf Champion, Yorvo, and Agalta. Sideboard is just a mess of garbage. I haven't had time to really, I mean, who, I don't even know what to sideboard against Pioneer is so new. Um, if you've been watching for a while, kind of the newer things that I've been messing around with, I mean, this is a whole new format, so it's all new, but Barkhide Troll and Yorvo are kind of the new things I'm trying out here. Uh, both pretty low to the curve. They both play very well with Avatar the Resolute with their counter synergies. So basically, with the exception of a couple creatures, um... Avatar of the Resolute is going to get pumped up a lot. I think this card is going to be kind of the key to Pioneer Stompy because for two mana, this thing can get out of control pretty quick. So we are going to do some two-player cues here and uh, see how it goes. Let's play Brain Smoothie. Let's do this Brain Smoothie. All right, so one land hand, not ideal. We're on the draw, so... It basically comes down to how greedy do we want to be today? <sighs> we have two draws to draw a land. And if we draw a land, it's pretty good. All right, let's get greedy. Let's be greedy. You know what they said? You never, you, you can never find success without being greedy. Is that even a thing? What am I saying? Mardu, huh? All right. Well, there goes my experiment one, if they're smart. All right, Mardu. I wonder if this is some kind of like Mardu Pyromancer for Pioneer. That'd be pretty tight. All right, and Galta. That's exactly what you need with one land. <laughs> All right, once again, uh, greed is not good when it comes to playing this game. Yep. All right, cool. I like it. Well, we're going to absolutely get destroyed considering... They have four cards in hand, and they're hitting their land drops. Remember how I said that this is called punting in Pioneer? Well, uh, here's the definition of why that is the case. All right. The thing I like about this early state of the format is that I forget about all the cards that are legal in it. So, I mean, Young Pyromancer, Thoughtseize, Dreadbore, these are all really crazy powerful cards. Um, so we're going Bark High Troll here, and then we can start kind of chaining into big Avatar of the Resolutes. And the good thing about Avatar of the Resolute is that it has Trample. So, as you know, Trample's very good against 1-1 one -one tokens. And it didn't have the mana to make that FX proof. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this seems like a pretty solid deck, actually. There is a lot of really, really good and really powerful removal. All right, well, we'll play an Avatar of the Resolute. At least we have protection from removal this one time. I, I could have played Yorvo, but, you know, no protection. All right, so keeping a one-lander, obviously a dumb idea. Um, against this deck, blossoming defenses are going to be really key at kind of staying alive, stabilizing. I think the fact that all of my creatures have trample for the most part, or at least can get trample, if that's even true. What am I, am I thinking of modern? I'm thinking of Rancor. Oh, geez. Well, this guy's got trample. Ah, oh, Chandra, man. There's a lot of good Mardu cards. Well, Excel the top, okay. Uh, 
Okay, this is a pretty this is pretty good. Let's play Yorvo. So I can attack in to Chandra, which I think I kind of have to. Chandra can get out of control. Um, they could double block, and I can kill both of them by blossoming defense, blossom def blossom defensing. Okay, so they can block two of the three. I pump it to five. It does three to the Chandra. It goes to two. Can't ping my things. They have two cards in hand. They can get card advantage. Uh, well, I got to keep my stuff alive, unfortunately. And I want their board to be somewhat under control. Next turn, I can play a 4-3 Avatar. If this is still alive, that brings me to 7-11, which means Galta will only cost 2. So if none of my stuff dies, I can actually play Galta next turn. Man, if this gave Trample, that'd be pretty tight. So I've also, like, I love Mono Green Devotion, and I loved it in Standard. I really like it in Modern. And I'm hoping it's a very powerful Pioneer deck, too, just because it, it feels so good. It's so fun. And um, one of the few things that I'm going to miss about the mono version is not being able to play Keswick Wolf Run. Being able to give, like, your Bird of Paradise plus 20 plus 20 in Trample was uh, one of the more fun things you could do in Modern. And I wonder if there's kind of an equivalent Mana Sync. I've seen a lot of decks using... Walking Ballista, which is a really good idea. I mean, you can make it huge. You can start killing your opponent, killing their creatures. Kind of an obvious inclusion, but being able to get good use out of your mana dorks that are kind of useless at that point. I mean, there's a couple things you can do. Ugh, another young pyro. So what we kind of need to happen here is our opponent to whiff on removal spells. Because if we can keep our Galta alive, even for like one turn, we are going to be in an incredible position. But this looks like a removal spell. Maybe like a Midnight... Not Midnight Reaper. Uh, what is his name? Murderous Rider? Yeah. Maybe even a Bedevil? Murderous Cut. All right. Another very clean answer. Well, I am learning about all of the removal spells that I had forgotten about. All right, Mardu, pretty legit, pretty legit. I like it. Okay, so this... We'll play another avatar. We have six. This costs six. Not enough. I can attack in. I could kill everything. I don't think I don't think we're gonna win this, but I, I do want to kind of see what else our opponent's playing. I don't know what we can even draw at this point. So I don't think Questing Beast is necessarily... Yeah, I'm going to concede. We're just going to lose this. I don't think Questing Beast is a good main deck card necessarily in this deck. It might be. Um, but it would be a great sideboard card, I think. Just the ability to kind of bash in through these tiny creatures and then kill their Planeswalkers. I think if this deck or if that card was so freaking expensive on MTGO, I would have it in my sideboard. Um, so let's see here. Galta probably not great just because it's hard to get our power and toughness up and keep our stuff alive crypts no damping sphere no return to nature no feed the clan no um i don't know if we just want to try to bash in harder or be a little grindier let's go let's get a nissa in here just because they're probably not going to expect that let's get the boon satyrs in here playing some stuff at instant speed is always a good time Steel of Champion is freaking great in this matchup just because most of their creatures aren't going to be able to block it. Dryad Militant, I haven't seen any cards in their graveyard that necessarily 
can be replayed. I didn't see any flashback or anything in that, so maybe this isn't a card we want. Um, we also have Scoos for that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Barkai Troll, if we can hold mana up, it's great. We can keep it alive. It's just kind of like more protection. Aspect of Hydra is good. Um, but I didn't see any like lightning strike type removal, so maybe maybe we go down two of these two of these and just kind of see what happens again i am just completely experimenting here this is my like second game ever of pioneer i threw this deck together in like 20 minutes with cards i already had in my collection so a lot of tweaking is going to happen and uh, let's no one drop which is a bummer but at least we have three lands and we got a decent two to three so they also kept seven and there's Thoughtseize in the format, so I keep forgetting that. All right, no turn one Thoughtseize. Nice. So we play an Avatar. It's going to die most likely. But if it doesn't, that's not that bad. Fatal Push? Yeah. Yep, there's a lot of good removal in Pioneer. Okay, so they're holding two mana up. Do you know what that means? We're going to Boon Seda. Nobody expects the Boon Seder. Be cool to play Yorvo into Boon Seder. That'd be a fun time. Oh, I totally forgot I had Prey Upons in this deck. Probably could have taken a couple of those out, but then again, the ability to kind of cleanly kill a Pyromancer is probably good. So I'm going to play Yorvo here just because I have Blossoming Defense up to protect it. It at least will help me get one removal spell out of my opponent's hand. So yeah, if anybody has any good ideas for sideboard cards in this format, I guess like Thrash Threat might be okay to remove move opposing planeswalkers um because they can become problematic for sure if they try to mine us here that'd be amazing oh yeah feel good about that one Uh, so I don't want them to gain card advantage. It's a bummer I can't just bash in for five here, but we really need to get Chandra off the board. So we're in an okay position here. Um, we can play Boon Seder and bestow it to protect from some types of removal. Hmm. Yeah, well, can't do anything against a Dreadbore, unfortunately. Does make our Pell Collector bigger, though. Damn. So much removal. All right, well. Surprise. <laughs> I used to... Oh, man. Boon Seder is, is always a good time. I used to play it in... Uh, was it Thero Standard? I th was it Thero Standard that had kind of like the green-white little kid aggro deck? with a uh, locks it on smiter and fleece main lion that was my jam as somebody who just likes playing good creatures on curve that was right up my alley damn there is like infinite removal in this deck I guess the good thing is at least one of the things is sorcery speed. Nahiri, huh? Well, we can kill Nahiri. We're just kind of... Unfortunately. Hmm. 
Yep, having to attack Planeswalkers when you should be attacking your opponent doesn't feel good. Go away, Jordan's Furniture IMAX. Sending me email notifications. Come on. So they're running Fatal Push, Dreadbore, Cast Down, Colligan's Command, Thoughtseize. I think Mardu, like, my first thought, and I think a lot of other people's thoughts went straight to Abzan. I mean, having Siege Rhino, no, good God. <laughs> this is crazy. They have so much stuff. Jor really? Again? Jordan's Furniture, man. Bought a mattress from there like six years ago. And they never leave me alone. Yeah, Questing Beast would be pretty, pretty good, I guess. That's not pretty good. Not having any haste threats. It's kind of a bummer, too. In modern, you have access to Strangled Root Geist. All right, well, at least I have Steel Leaf with protection. Ooh. If they don't block, I can make Steel Leaf enormous. I could also get super blown out. Oh man, if we had one more mana, <laughs> that would have been amazing. Freaking Boon Seder. What a good time. What a what a time to be alive. Playing Boon Seder again. Freaking Steely Champion with a little friend. Just riding on his back, making him strong. Freaking 9 6 can't be blocked by two twos and below. I love it. Can't even block with a shambling vent. So if our opponent is just flooding with mana right now, that would be pretty good for us. Pretty, pretty good. Prey upon would actually be pretty good. Oh man, yes. Alright. I like that. I like that. Oh, can't be the boon. Can't beat the boon. All right, so definitely like go down to prey upon. I think we we need to hit one drop, so go back up a dried militant on the draw. This would be good to catch up, but it's just not it's not reliably going to live. Man, I, I'm excited. I hope other people are excited too. I mean, I really, really got into magic right around Return to Ravnica. Um, you know, the time more normal people get into games like this when you're in your early 20s. And my collection is primarily from then on. I mean, I've gotten very into modern, so I have a decent modern collection for certain things. Despise. Okay, well, take your pick. Probably one of these two. I mean, maybe they take a Yorvo, but they're going to take so much damage before I can even get going with Yorvo. Okay, smart move, smart move. Uh, so an experimental, or I keep saying experimental frenzy, an exper experiment one. Man, too much standard, too much standard on the brain. Although experimental frenzy, you could probably do some wonky stuff in Pioneer with that. Kind of make like a mono red prowess pioneer deck. So I guess we just run up Bark Eye Troll. Absorb a removal spell. Next turn we can pass with Boon Seder mana up. Unfortunately, the surprise of the boon is gone, but being able to play your threats at instant speed is always good. Smuggler's Copter. Alright. Can crew it with the tokens. That's pretty clever. can block 
Park I troll with it. I don't think they will, knowing how many pump spells I run, but they're definitely thinking about it. Okay. So they're going to loot next turn. Which is okay. They are at 13 life. They've been they've been running the uh death shadow life game. Just shock land into shock land. Alright. Well, I feel good. We have a blossoming defense. We can absorb at least a removal spell. Fortunately, like fatal push into dread boar, we can't really do much about. Four cards in hand. Next turn, we can Yorvo, hold up mana. Man, if this, if this fella had Trample, isn't there... Uh, I guess it doesn't give you Trample. I think there's that new enchantment in Throne of Eldraine. It's like one mana. Or no, no it's not an enchantment. It's an equipment. And I think it comes into play and it equips to like a non-human creature or something. Gives it like a plus two, plus one. Not trample though, so I guess that doesn't really. So I can play Boon Seder here. I leave my troll open to removal. But regardless, unless they have double removal spell, I've got mana, fatal push, okay. So even if, if they have two removal spells here, it's bad for us. But they're only they're down to one card in hand which is good for us. Discard a card. I will discard a Yorvo. So they have one card in hand. We can play Yorvo with protection. Experiment one into Yorvo. Yorvo into experiment one. Um... But I think at this point, I just want a big threat and I want to be able to protect it. They only have one card in hand. They will go to two cards in hand and they'll be able to loot once. Smuggler's Copter. That's another, that's another fun one. This deck is just like... God, I, just, I love playing against these strange decks because I like have so many of these cards and it just gets my, my brewing juices going. There's weird stuff you can do with Ilharg. There's so many creatures now to put into play that I need to think about. There's, oh, there's so much stuff. I hope there's like kind of a cool graveyardy deck or, or something that can utilize death right shaman just because that card is so rad and i i've always wanted to put it in a deck where it's good unfortunately i kind of got into modern post death right getting banned all right nahiri Okay, okay, so let's go experiment one. Make Yorvo bigger. Avatar. Trigger, trigger. Now we're, we're doing okay. So I'm going to attack... Hmm. So they can just kill Yorvo next turn. Uh, actually, no, they can't. I have protection. So let's attack our opponent. Maybe they will minus Nahiri next turn, and then we can just kind of blank the minus. So what's our devotion right now? Six. So an aspect of Hydra would be pretty good. We can bash in for 10 with Avatar, Trample, or 12 if nothing gets blocked. Uh, 
Okay, so the lack of trample is definitely something I'm starting to notice compared to the modern version of this deck. Rancor is a hell of a card. And I don't think it's been in standard since... Before Return to Ravnica, that's for sure. I think it was in a core set around the time I got into Magic, but I believe it was like core set 2011 or something. I don't know, but a one mana, give your shit trample. Pretty, pretty good. All right, two mana, can kill Experiment 1 or Avatar. Still have Hexproof on Yorvo. The Avatar is honestly probably one of the bigger threats right now because it can't be chump blocked. I mean, it, it can, but not effectively. Colligan's Command. Okay. I hear he's pretty freaking good. I never realized, like, it's only minus two. You can plus one, and then you can just start killing my attackers a lot. So we, we gotta get this thing off. So yeah, Smuggler's Copter can trade with my avatar. I can chump with the elemental. I can't believe it's it friggin' loots when it blocks. What a silly card. So now they can just minus two Nahiri, kill my Yorvo. All right, that probably wasn't a smart move. Yep. Questing needs to be pretty tight right now. <laughs> Bash in for four. Yep, no counters on this thing. Can't regenerate it. Cool. That's great. <laughs> nice pump spell. All right, well, at least I, I kind of know the tools that Mardu pyromancer can use in pioneer and they're good they're good tools this is a it's a pretty rad deck my opponent is playing that is for damn sure i mean chandra torch defines insane nahiri really freaking good in this matchup bedlam reveler young pyromancer shocks shambling vent like this is a this makes my deck feel real shitty <laughs> um yeah just not having a good hasty threat or a good trampling threat that can kind of come online early. I'm like, I'm really feeling it. So I don't think Stompy is necessarily the way to go. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I can do to tweak. I'm going to look into giving stuff trample, but alas, I'm going to give it to this one. I'm going to give it to you, Brain Smoothie. That was a pretty sweet deck you got there. All right, well, there it was. Punting and Pioneer, episode two with Stompy. Um, I think I'm going to do some tweaking before I record my next video. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Try to get some trample. See you guys later.